For too many families in Britain, increasingly insecure work means they cannot plan for their future. How to pay the bills, mortgage or rent. There are far, far too many people struggling to make ends meet because wages are low, hours are insecure and rents are too high. They're not just about managing, many are simply just about surviving. This is what happens when government and the economic model is, re is relied on for a generation fails to deliver. What we've seen in Britain, the US and elsewhere is the rejection of a failed economic consensus and a governing elite which has not listened. This is a corporate as well as a political failure. And after the latest global wake-up call from the US, the need for a real alternative to a failed economic and political system could not be clearer. So those of us who want to see an open, tolerant, more prosperous Britain must make common cause in the battle for that future, the battle for the future of our country. It's a future that must be based on us working together to achieve social justice and economic renewal rather than sowing fear and division. Every business needs a plan for a stable and successful future. But following the British people's decision to leave the European Union, businesses have been plunged into a huge uncertainty by a government that doesn't appear to have any plan at all. Our alternative is this. As well as a critique of what's wrong, Labour also wants to set out the path of a better way. That's about good intervention. In fact, it's intervention for the common good. Help not only for businesses, but for workers, young people, families, pensioners, for the country as a whole. Government supporting business and giving you the tools you need to improve the well-being and prosperity of our country and its people. And I see we have plenty of common ground with the CBI. In your submission to the Autumn Statement, you called on the government to invest for the future prioritising measures that boost productivity and increase life chances across all regions and nations of this country. We couldn't agree with you more. In 1963, Harold Wilson famously said, if the country was to prosper, a new Britain would need to be forged in the white heat of a scientific revolution. More than 50 years later, we now face the task of creating a new Britain, not just out of Brexit and a new relationship with Europe, but from the challenge of the fourth industrial revolution. We know the first industrial revolution saw mechanised production powered by steam. The second was powered by electricity. The third was driven by the internet and digital communication. The fourth industrial revolution is being powered by the internet of things and big data, to develop cyber physical systems and smart factories. I might add that this industry, 4.0, was pioneered by the German government's own high-tech strategy. How we best respond to Brexit and the fourth industrial revolution will require a lot of radical thinking by all of us. It will challenge yesterday's received wisdom of private good, public bad. It will need common good intervention. Labour is open. We're open to change, open to new ideas, open to working with you. In return, we ask you to be open to listening to the workforce in the boardroom as well as on the shop floor. Open to investing in Britain and paying a bit more corporation tax to make this country more powerful, more productive and fairer, so you'll get a return on your investment. And open, I hope, to working with us. Together, I'm confident we can rebuild and transform Britain for the common good to create a fairer, prosperous, and more sustainable country for all. Thank you very much for inviting me here today.